find sun, sand, surf, shopping, and sharks. In the Aloha State, Hawaii. Welcome to Laura McKenzie's Traveler. What is it about the beach that makes you just want to go, ah? Hi, I'm Laura McKenzie, and welcome to Hawaii, the tropical paradise state. Well, officially it's the Aloha state, but after being here, I kind of like my name better. What do you think? Hawaii is a great place for a vacation. There is so much to do. All the activities, the food, the fish, the fruit, the local produce, it's fantastic. Oh, and the Hawaiian culture. I don't know what it is. It's the spirit of Aloha, and I guess that's why they call it the Aloha state, huh? If you're ready, let's see it again. The Hawaiian Islands are actually 19 islands that extend 1,500 miles across the Pacific. But it's the main islands we're all familiar with. Hawaii, Oahu, Kauai, Maui, Molokai, and Lanai. These are the ones that attract the visitors to the 50th and southernmost state in the U.S. From its sensational surf and beautiful beaches to its fascinating volcanic mountains, this is an island getaway that's truly paradise. And if you're visiting for the first time, there's no better place to start than the island of Oahu. Known as the Gathering Place, Oahu has the highest population and receives more visitors than any of the other islands. It's also a visually beautiful island with sights and activities varied enough for almost everyone in the family to enjoy. The city of Honolulu is not only the largest in Hawaii, it's the state capital. But governing the people is old hat to Honolulu, as it was home to Hawaiian royalty. King Kamehameha's court moved here from the Big Island in the early 1800s. And his royal grandson, Kamehameha III, declared it the capital of the kingdom in 1850. Now, every kingdom needs a castle, right? And situated in the middle of downtown Honolulu is the Iolani Palace. Built in 1882, the palace is the only official state home of royalty in the United States. And take a good look, because this regal residence features architecture found nowhere else in the world. This unique style is known as American Florentine. Isn't it beautiful? And for a peek into the past of the Polynesian people, be sure to drop by the Bishop Museum. Founded in 1889, it's the largest museum in Hawaii and is home to the world's greatest collection of Polynesian cultural and scientific artifacts. Honolulu is a beautiful city with an amazing past. Then and now, it's the most important shipping port in Hawaii. Although today importing tourists is also high on the list. And the most famous draw for visitors? Waikiki Beach. Ah, Waikiki. It goes from the harbor here all the way down to Diamond Head, the volcano back there in the background. This is the most famous beach in the islands. And trust me, this is where the action is. Outrigger canoeing, sunbathing, swimming, surfing, windsurfing, parasailing, whew, water sports to die for, and that incredible view. Easy to see why Waikiki is the center of tourism here on the island. But the one water sport that Hawaii is most famous for is surfing. Surfing has been a big part of the Hawaiian culture for hundreds of years and was made popular as a sport in the early 1900s by Olympic swimming champion and Hawaiian son, Duke Kahanamoku, AKA the Big Kahuna. Whether you're a beginner taking lessons on Waikiki Beach or a pro braving the bonsai pipeline on the North Shore, Oahu is the perfect place to catch a wave and sit on top of the world. If surfing isn't wild enough for you, maybe you'd prefer swimming with sharks. I know what you're thinking, no way, not me. But thanks to North Shore Shark Adventures, you can actually swim right along with the ocean's fiercest predator. Nice day, it's gonna be glassy out there. <clears throat> the type of sharks we see right now, and most of the time are Galapagos and sandbar sharks. The Galapagos range anywhere from six to 12 feet. Did he say 12 feet? Whoa. The 
reason I started this tour, I went out for years with my friends who trap crabs out here. For 40 years, they've been pulling up their sets of traps, pulling out the old bait, throwing it back in the water, and the sharks followed their boats everywhere. Watching this for 30 years, I started this project to have a great time. Are you going in the water? OK. A quick boat ride three miles off the coast takes us right into shark-infested waters. Before we get in, the captain takes a moment to show us a little game he plays with his friends from the deep. But don't worry, we'll be perfectly safe inside the cage. And once you're all suited up, in you go. under there and my feet start dangling and I went, oops, better bring them in. Yeah, they won't like you. Okay, what you think? That was good. <laughs> we like that. Getting face to face with these beautiful creatures on their own turf gives you a whole new perspective. So Sarah, what'd you think? It was awesome. <laughs> really cool. What'd you see? There was like 20 sharks swimming all around us and then one kept circling our cage. Like yeah, there was one in particular that I was kind of scared of. Uh, it was at first I was petrified, but then once you get used to your balance, it's not so bad. It's cool. Then you can enjoy how beautiful they are. After an amazing dip in the drink with Jaws, you might think you've seen everything, but never fear, there's plenty more on this incredible island. Here's a tip, you can often save on airfare to outer islands by connecting in Honolulu or buying inter-island air passes. Laura McKenzie's Traveler will be right back. Welcome back. For more information on Oahu, visit us on the web at lauramackenzietv.com. The mountains and volcanoes of Oahu are where you can get some great views of the island. From Diamond Head, the most prominent site on the Waikiki coast, to the Pali Lookout, Here's where to come for incredible overviews of Oahu. But the best way to see the island is from the air. And what's the perfect way to fly over an island surrounded by water? Well, a seaplane sounds fun. So off we go to the Island Seaplane Service, located in Kihi Lagoon near the Honolulu Airport. It's about a half hour from Waikiki and miles above anything you're likely to do while you're here. And if you're debating whether to take a seaplane or a helicopter, remember seaplanes have more room and everyone gets a window seat. They will carry a uh, four fashion mission pilot. Now, is the takeoff and landing any different than a small plane on a runway? Uh, Inside. Right now, we've got a fair chop out here, so you're going to feel it on the takeoff. It's going to pound a little bit. But then as our speed picks up, because it's like a fast speed because it just and comes off the water. Now that I've been briefed, it's time to take to the sky. Oh, what a sight from up here. I've never seen a view of Diamond Head from over it. There's no better way to appreciate the beauty of these islands. My only regret is we couldn't stay up longer. What a great way to see the island. I learned how to fly while I was up here. Seems so easy. Just pull a few knobs, turn a few buttons, right? So much fun, you have to do it. Great. 
As if the thrilling flight weren't enough, you can turn the occasion into a real event and add on a poo poo party, the Hawaiian style appetizers. And what kind of food do you have for the poo poo well, we, party? Well, we vary it. We, you do a variety of things. There's some Oriental things, Maui potato chips. Everybody loves the Hawaiian potato chips and just a, just a good variety. Debbie, tell me about the tours that you offer here. Well, we offer uh, a number of tours here at Island Sea Plain. We do an hour tour. Uh, which shows you the whole island, everything except for the west coast, and a lot of people enjoy that tour because on the last portion of the hour tour, you actually fly the same path the main Japanese attack force go into Bomb Pearl Harbor. A great flight and great food. What else could you ask for? Of course, if you'd rather keep your feet on the ground, there are other ways to get around the island. You know, I always like to rent a car in Honolulu, especially to be able to cruise down Waikiki. This is Kalakaua Avenue. This is the main drag. It's one way, running parallel with Waikiki Beach. Hotels line the beach on one side, and on the other, lots of shopping. Looks like King Kamehameha is sharing the beach with the likes of Ferragamo and Louis Vuitton now. With so many great shops to choose from, getting around to them all is definitely doable. There is a trolley tour that'll drop you off. There's Ala Moana has a shopping shuttle that'll take you to all the different hotels, but I kind of like to have my own view. Honolulu has several outdoor marketplaces that are great for picking up little mementos from your stay. Places like the Mauna Kea Marketplace, a favorite among the locals, or the International Marketplace, which sits beneath a 100-year-old banyan tree, are great for finding that perfect souvenir. And for shopping with a hint of history, head over to Honolulu Harbor. In the old days, the ships would arrive in Honolulu and they'd see the Aloha Tower over there, sort of off in the distance, welcoming passengers. It was kind of like the Statue of Liberty for Hawaii. Back in those days, it was the tallest structure on the island, even though today the skyscrapers kind of dwarf it. But it's still a welcoming beacon to shoppers. The Aloha Tower Marketplace is right below it with some great shops. Located right on the water, the Aloha Tower Marketplace is the perfect place to enjoy some fantastic views while picking up a few souvenirs. And for some serious shopping, you'll want to stop at the Ala Moana Shopping Center. With 260 stores to choose from, this is the big kahuna of shopping malls. Down at this end is your more expensive stores. We've got Bali, Dunienberg, Bulgari. Upstairs, there's Chanel and a few other pricey things. What I love about this mall is that you have the high end and the low end all in one great place. When you're ready to take a break and get back to the water, the great thing about Honolulu is the beach is never far away. How many cities do you know that have a beach right downtown? I mean, most cities have a park, but this is the Ala Moana Beach Park. You've got downtown Honolulu right here. You've got Waikiki right here. The Ala Moana Shopping Center, which is the biggest one in Honolulu, was one block behind the beach. I mean, think about it. You could do a little business in the morning, then come and hit the waves. You could go shopping and have lunch, come back and hit the waves. It's all very convenient. I mean, the lifestyle here is so Hawaiian. Here's a tip. Only certified pineapples can be transported from Hawaii to the mainland. Non-certified fruit and vegetables will be confiscated. Laura McKenzie's Traveler will be right back. Welcome back. For more information on Oahu, visit us on the web at lauramackenzietv.com. With so many different things to see and do, Oahu is definitely an island with non-stop action. But when you're ready to slow things down and relax, why not get away from it all and experience a little more of the real Oahu? You don't have to go far to get away from the big city on this incredible island. Just a short drive inland, you can get a taste of Hawaii's farmland. Hmm, what is Hawaii famous for, huh? Oh, pineapple, of course. And you should smell it when it's fresh out of the field. Unbelievable. And what's great? You can ship it home. All over the island, there are plenty of hidden beaches just waiting to be discovered. Here I am. I drove to the end of the paved road, walked towards the water, and here I am. Now, where am I? Obviously lost in paradise, but I think I'll stick around and enjoy it for a while. And since I'm here, there's another discovery to make. The perfect place to stay away from it all. 
quietly tucked away on the leeward side or dry side of the island, I discovered the JW Marriott Ihalani Resort and Spa. Its location puts this beautiful resort in a class of its own. But what is it that makes it so special? Being away from the city, oceanfront, it makes it an experience more representative of Hawaii. The local feel and the culture are more evident here than you'd find on Waikiki. And it's that local culture that makes the Ihilani staff stand out from many of the rest. The moment you arrive, you'll be impressed with their gracious aloha spirit. We have a, a lot of local Hawaiians that are part of the hotel. I think natural warmth and kindness is just part of the culture. We're very fortunate to have such an exceptional staff. As they attend to your every need, settle into your room, beautifully decorated with designer fabrics and best described as luxury and elegance with a tropical flair. And did I mention the view? Oh yeah. Although it's tempting to spend all your time in the room, there's a lot more here that you're going to want to experience. And while it's a place that's definitely romantic, there's also something here for the whole family. You can soak up the sun by the pool, grooving to the tune of live Hawaiian folk music. Or catch a round of golf at the Ko'olina Golf Club. With magnificent mountains on one side and sweeping ocean views on the other, a day on this course is like 18 holes in heaven. And there's even a little something special for the kids. A couple of times a day we have uh, uh, an opportunity for the children of the resort, although many adults like to be a participant too, where we, in the water, let the children get more familiar with the undersea life here on the island. The program is not only fun, it teaches the kids about the different fish and sea life around the Hawaiian Islands. Just don't tell them it's educational. We've got manta rays, sharks, uh, hammerheads, uh, sea urchins. They're the scariest of all, of course, and uh, a variety of local fish. A truly fascinating experience for the whole family. And then, why not let the kids run on their own private white sand beach? Wow, fantastic rooms, terrific food, an amazing spa, the pool, the beach, and sharks. Now, is this a great place or what? Here's a tip, checked luggage will be weighed. Pack a collapsible duffel on top in case you need to lighten your load. Laura McKenzie's Traveler, we'll be right back. Welcome back. For more information on Oahu, visit us on the web at lauramackenzietv.com. What would a trip to Hawaii be without a luau? The Paradise Cove Luau has been entertaining visitors to the islands with traditional Hawaiian luau's for over 20 years. Here you can experience the history and culture of Hawaii by participating in traditional games like throwing spears or traditional crafts like lei making and palm frond weaving. Swing your hips like the natives and take a hula lesson. Or paddle an outrigger canoe through the cove. Once you master that, it's on to fishing with nets and learning to husk a coconut. Then watch the evening's main course as it's ceremoniously pulled from the traditional underground oven called an emu. And finally, enjoy the feast while watching everyone's favorite, the hula. There's nothing like a Hawaiian luau and a beautiful sunset to cap off a perfect day in paradise. Ah, Hawaii, it's such a relaxing destination. Well, between the shark diving and the snorkeling and the parasailing and the palm tree climbing and all the other activities you can do here. I hope you enjoyed seeing it with me and you'll join me again next time from another terrific place somewhere else around the world. From Hawaii, I'm Laura McKenzie. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go relax now. On my hammock. Here goes. Can you push me?